How's it going? I'm Jeff. We're out here on this 2014 Scout Winya Bay. We're also with the Charleston Angler, Shane, Jonathan, and Hartley. Uh, we're going to be testing out this, uh, this brand new grappler anchor, custom coated, out in the Charleston Harbor. For those of y'all that aren't familiar with the grappler anchor, um, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a rocky bottom anchor designed for jetties, reefs, oyster beds, uh, grassy marsh. Um, the tines are fully bendable, so when you get stuck out there, these tines will bend out 180 degrees with enough force, so you just give your engine a little throttle, and uh, these tines will bend all the way out. When you get back on your boat, just bend them right back to its place. When you, uh, when you get back on the boat to, uh, to bend the tines out, you simply put the tine on the ground, put your foot down, and give it enough pressure. Our anchor is different from a Danforth anchor in that when you seem impossibly stuck, your anchor will always release, whether it's from your traditional rigging method where you're just shackling your anchor line up to the top or you're shackling, shackling your line down at the bottom, zip tying it to the top, zip ties break away, and the anchor is flipped upside down. Something uh, new for this year is that we're offering most of our anchors in this Duracoat finish. It's a non-skid, non-stick finish that's not going to mess up your gel coat or deck. Um, it adds a little extra stiffness to the anchor so it has a little extra holding power for those bigger boats. I think this looks like a pretty good spot. We're going to go ahead and uh, anchor off and uh, cast off over by these oyster beds. Proudly designed and manufactured in Charleston, South Carolina, our anchor is sold through either our dealer network or through our own website. Feel free to look through our website at all our pictures and videos and purchase yours today. Thanks.